Okay, so we're ready to build shipment 18. We're ready to put everything together. Um, actually, you know, I, I want to do, I want to tell you guys something that was just amazing um, on Star Trek Strange New Worlds, and I'm not going to give anything away, so this isn't a spoiler, but last night's episode is called Spock Amok. And it's actually my favorite one so far. Now, there's a lot wrong that I think is wrong with Star Trek Discovery, Strange New Worlds, but I'm not going to criticize it. I just want to acknowledge that there was a dream that Mr. Spock had that was just amazing. It was a brilliant piece of writing. And this goes back almost like original Star Trek-esque. It's when Mr. Spock, he's on Vulcan, and he's with to praying. And it's the, the ritual for the ceremony for the wedding. And T'Pring calls Kalafi. So Spock has to fight whoever she chooses. And to Mr. Spock's horror, she points out that he's got rounded ears and that he's completely human. When he wonders who he has to fight, he actually sees himself, his Vulcan half. And then he engage in combat. And it was just a dream, but... I don't want to give away the plot or anything of the episode, but it was actually a really good episode. I enjoyed it. And that was a brilliant piece of writing. Right back to Vulcan, right... It was almost like... Even the music, it was almost like going back to the original series during Pon Far when Mr. Spock had to go back to Vulcan. But anyway, let's get everything ready, and we're going to move on in the Star Trek build. We're going to start with package 67. So let's put these all aside. So why don't we get everything out that we need? We've got the room lights. We've got a piece of the nacelle pylon. We have lights. So let's put those aside for now. And we're going to start with the section of the hull. Now we're going to take the backing section and we're going to put it on this way. And it's going to be held in place just like that. And we're going to take one of the BP screws. move on and we're going to get the primary hull and you can see we're going to put the lights in the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put them onto the circuit board 
All right, you can remember we left off for shipment 17. This isn't uh, this isn't really in yet. All right, so what we got to do now is we got to take one of the lights or one of the leads. The two lights and these lights are what's going to light this section. All right, where is that going to go? That's going to go right in. Looks like it's going to go right in over here. take these and we're going to fish them up through the bottom just like that and we're going to separate the lights what we're going to do now well, let me show you guys where the lights are and now we're going to put the lights in and then we're going to put the screw in to secure these lights. All right, now we need the BP screws. Let me show you guys. See how these are put in. All right, so now we're gonna take the other set. And we're gonna put them in right next to this one. Show you where we put the other lights in. And we're going to run these under as well. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the section that we did prior, we're going to put them together, we're going to secure them in place with FM screws. So I just had the FM, here they are. So we're going to need three CDFN screws. All right, so now we're going to take this section. see we got this section in just like that and let's see what are we going to do now we're going to test it so that's a hand you can see everything is lit up So let's put the lights out. Looking pretty cool so far. And you guys remember that we took one of the lights and we had to put it in the next section for the next piece. All right, so that's all set. Let's see what's next. Now we're going to move on to stage 68. And you can see we're going to do some life pods. So let's put this aside. All right, on to stage 68. This one is metal. You can see the where we're gonna screw it in. 
and what we need to do is add in So we got all the escape pods in. And we've got the backing. And it's gonna be held in place with the AM screws. So, you can see it looks pretty cool. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add the outer rim. And it's gonna be fitted just like this. And that's gonna be held in place with the DM screws. So that looks pretty cool. All right, now we're gonna secure it and we're going to use two FM screws. All right, so we got to bring it down just like that so it fits in. And we're going to take an FM screw Let's tighten it a little bit better. All right, you can see the ship, the outer edge. So what we have to do now is we're going to put the little cover to cover the screw, the screw hole, and you can see we've got the little escape pod, and it's going to go in just like this, and that snaps into place, and just like that we're going to hide the screw holes. So now we're going to put the phaser array in to the unicell pylon and we're going to put the springs just like we did last time. And you can see this is part 60 AD. So we're going to, we're going to get this and we've got the packet that has the springs in it as well as the screw covers. I'm going to take our phaser array. We're going to put it into the nacelle, the, uh, the nacelle pylon. And now we're going to put the springs over the pins. All right, hope you guys can see that. And what we're going to do now is I think we're going to take the other half. Yep. We're actually going to attach it to the frame and that's going to be held in place with BP screws. Kind of click it into place just like that. And now we're going to put our screws in. So we're going to take the BP screws. Alright, so you can see the, when the springs act 
to keep the phaser arrays in place. And now we've got both sides, both nacelle pylons in place. And what we're going to do now, we're going to take the covers and see the screw holes. Not as noticeable with the, of course, the, the paint is a little bit off. It was a little closer on the other one. But that's okay. Still looks good. All right, what's next? And that's 68 is now complete. Now we're going to go to 69. Get that beautiful section. And we got the transporter emitters. So what we got to do is we got to put the transporter emitters into the little grooves. And we do that by removing the backing, the adhesive backing. Peel it off. And we're going to put it right into the section like that. It just fits right in. And right off the bat, look how beautiful that looks. All right, let's do the same thing for the other side. press it into place and look how beautiful that detail is looking. All right. This stage 69 is complete and that was a pretty short stage. Okay, so now it's looking like we're gonna do some more of the escape pods. And that's for stage 70. So we can put this aside for now. get stage seven. And this part is metal. Look at this beautiful section. Put this aside for now. And put those aside. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. You can see we have the, the cover for the screw hole. And same thing. We're going to put in escape pods. So we got all those in. And what we're going to do now is we're going to put the backing on. This is part 70C. And this is going to go on just like this. Just like that. And that's going to be held in place with the AM screws. There we are. All right, so now what we got to do is we're going to put the the outer rim on and that's going to go just like this and that's going to be held in place with the dm screws now i think we got one yep we got one dm screw left that we didn't use up yet So we get that on, and that's going to go on and be held in place with two FM screws. And just like that. So that's finished. Okay, what's next? Now we're going to take section, we're going to go to step C and we're going to take this section, this beautiful piece right here. And let's see, 
There are these two clips that we're going to use, and we're going to use CP screws to put them into place. There, if you can see that. And these are going to be held in place again with the CP screws. You just want to snug them up a bit. You can see the how they're going to show. And let's see, is that it? Stage 70 is now complete. Yep. So that's everything that we built. We did this beautiful section. And we did the other side. Actually, we, yeah, this side of the nacelle pylon. And where's that other piece that's probably going to go right in the middle? You can see this section is probably going to go just like this. That's going to look gorgeous when we move on. And so to give you guys an idea of what it's going to look like eventually, you can see the back looking pretty spectacular. Very much looking forward to that. So we did this section and you can see we did this section. We added more to the bottom of the uh, the primary hull. And I was concerned about the lines, but even when you look at the model on the um, the cover, you can see that there are lines and you can tell that there are panels. Um, so I guess this isn't going to be a putty and sand kind of thing, but this thing is getting very heavy. You know, those of you that have not done this model yet, um, this already probably weighs five pounds. Easy. So I can imagine how much it's going to weigh when it's finished, but it's getting there, it's starting to shape up. And I'll show you guys the way it's the uh, perimeter. It's looking, it's looking, it's looking pretty cool. All right, my friends. And this was the completion of the build, shipment 18. So until 19 comes in, which I hope is really soon, I'll see you guys again in another video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.